The next marketing step. When you think about marketing, what you want to be very conscious of is that it's not a singular item. It's not a distinct uh, set of experiences. It is a continuous stream of experiences. There are multiple steps. And we want to grab the macro look at it so we can get to the micro results. So when you think about marketing, what I want you to understand is there are three primary steps as you're going into a plan. You have to have a foundation, which basically is the basement, is what you have at the bottom so that you can build on. So you have a foundation, you have a process that you're going to continue on with activity, and a goal. You have to know what's going to happen at the end. Begin with the end in mind to go Stephen Covey on you. So think about it. The next marketing step, you want to have a foundation, process, goal. So let's start looking at this. Because when you're communicating, and fundamentally, marketing is communication, with a business purpose, when you're communicating, I don't want to spew facts at you. What I actually need is to be able to communicate in such a way that I'm almost expressing a story, that I'm telling you some events, that you have an experience with me that you'll feel good about, that, all right, I want to understand more about what it is you're presenting to me, either it's a business idea or to purchase your product. So you want to frame it as a story, and that story has a process, it has a beginning, it has action, it has thinking, and it has an end. You want to be able to conclude it. And regardless of the marketing medium you're using, you need to have that process in place. So think about something like blogging. If you're going to post a blog and you put it out there and it's a great piece of work, are people going to see it one time and then come and buy your product? The answer is no. You have to be able to have an ongoing dialogue. That is information you're bringing to them to bring attention to your area of expertise or the service you're providing. So you want to have ongoing processes which constitute a plan so you can move them through the process eventually to the goal. So if you think about a marketing piece, you have the plan, you have more follow-up, you're trying to initiate dialogue, so it's not just a singular story, now all of a sudden it's a conversation, it's a follow-up, it's a relationship. So when you think about the next marketing step, what I want you to be able to take away is that one, we're communicating. Two, we're communicating in a story where we're trying to convey emotion, experience, and hopefully the purchase of my product, which will serve a need that you need completed. The other thing I want us to understand is that in that dialogue that we're establishing, we now, through this technology, we can actually go back and forth. You don't just show your agreement with what my message is as a result of the purchase. You can give feedback. You can use social media. You can actually communicate with me and I can communicate back with you to tell you specifically, I appreciate you patronizing my service, but also I can hear from you ways to improve the experience so you can share with others that one, you had input on an experience that you had, that you bought, and more importantly, that I'm satisfying your individual needs and other individual needs that are required for a successful business. The next marketing step involves the goal of more revenue through more customers, through better experiences across the board.